You can spit on the floor. I don't give a crap. Anyway, I live in the bedroom. You guys will live in the kitchen. And Paco lives in the parlor. What's the other door down the hall? It's okay. The light scares away all the cockroaches. What's that flower did you have on? Paco, shut up. The kitchen guys are trying to sleep. He's all bent out of shape about this chick from back home. Little tip. Don't let him catch you coming out of the bathroom with that picture of his lady. He will lose his mind. And did I hear you say you were meeting me, Paco, here today to take you to your mansion in the sky? Hey, Frank. What are you guys going to buy with your share? Oh, we're investing it. Really? Wow, that's pretty smart. Yeah, we don't want to be running around stealing watches for the rest of our lives, right? There's no future in it. Yeah, it's undignified. Yeah, makes sense. So, so what are you investing in? Stocks? Real estate? Oh, guns. Two really big guns. We're going to rob an Indian casino. Cool. Tell him about Howie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're planning the robbery for the same night that Howie Mandel's going to be performing at the place, so it's going to be sold out. Eh? It's a lot of spinach, you know? I send for my woman. She's going to sneak into the country, and then after the robbery, we're going to sneak out of the country together. I mean, I know this is more sneaking than she needs to do, but she's a really good sneaker. You guys are going to be rich. Hey, Harold, they're going to be rich. Hey, listen, uh, we'd like our lives to be better, too. Any chance you'd be willing to uh, buy a couple extra guns with our share of the watch money and let us help out? I guess if there's uh, four of us getting shot at, then uh, there's less of a chance that Pac and I are going to get killed. Sure, why not? Yes. If we don't die, we're getting a monkey. Down the street, smoking in dough, sipping on gin and juice. Be judge with my mind on my money and my money on my mind. Excuse me, are, are you gonna kill me? <laughs> Damn, you know, I, I forgot that you were even back there. I, I gotta tell you, we weren't planning on taking anybody, but, but our fake hostage just didn't show up. Oh, I see. Uh, so, so where does that leave us with the whole killing me or not killing me thing? I don't know. Why don't you uh, pop a rubber glove on your head and see if it makes me laugh and we'll talk about it later. <laughs> <laughs> Drolling down the street, smoking in those sipping on G and juice. Lay back. With my mind on my money and my money on my mind. Collect yourself. <clears throat> Go for it, Paco. It's not too bad in here. I mean, I made some new friends and I even took a computer course. Hey, last week, I Googled myself, Paco, and I found out I have unclaimed money in Texas. That's Texas for you. Next. After I had left the wardens, I went to find Frank's old stealing buddy. Paco, I didn't know you knew how to write music. Turns out, it's easy. It's just dots and lines. When I get out of here, I'm going to find someone to play it for me. I can't wait to hear what it sounds like. <laughs> so, uh, maybe you haven't heard, but... Frank escaped. Damn it. Frank escaped, you're gonna get all the money that we hid in the trailer. Wait, you guys hid money in our trailer? No. Thanks, Paco. Damn. I oh, hope this song is a sad song. Time. Hey, Earl. Frank and I, Paco, made this for you so you don't forget your time in here. Huh? Thanks, guys. Paco? Saludos, Errol. Randy? I used to deliver for Cameron Foreign Foods. Being senior Lomain sucks, doesn't it? Yes. But if you have a job, they take your collar off and let you out of here for eight hours a day. Why don't you get a job like Paco? I refuse to dress like a bullfighting yodeler and dance like a monkey. Keep eating salt, genius. Wait. So we just uh, 